Liquid General properties of liquid are it follows the shape of container, slightly compressible, moderate ability to flow, and the molecules of liquid slide past one another freely. Focus on the shape and fluidity. Liquid has a definite volume but not a definite shape, so it depends on the shape of the container. Molecules arrange closely but not rigidly. Molecules of liquid held together by intermolecular force, but they are able to move freely. And liquid moderately, highly fluidity and take the shape and volume of the container. Diffusion Liquid diffuses slower due to stronger intermolecular force because their particles arrange moderately close. In terms of compressibility, liquid has very little space between the molecules and slightly compressible. Surface tension is the resistance of a liquid to spreading out and increasing its surface area. Surface tension caused by the difference between intermolecular forces felt by the molecules at the surface and the molecules in the interior. Surface tension can also be defined as energy required to overcome the inward pull and to increase the surface area of a liquid. Molecules at the surface here, molecules at the surface feel attractive forces from below because the particles are close to each other, so there is attractive forces from below and sideways. There's no water molecule or water particle on top. So it just feels the attractive forces from below and sideways are thus pull into it the liquid. So these molecules at the surface area pull into it the liquid sideways and into sideways and below. But for this one here, the molecules in the middle in the interior are surrounded and pulled equally in all direction. This is in the interior, not the surface. In the interior, the molecules of water are pulled equally in all direction. Therefore, a liquid surface tends to have the smallest possible area. So if you compare to this one, the liquid surface compared to this one, liquid surface have smallest possible area. This interior molecules of water have bigger surface area. So to increase the surface area, you want to increase the molecule surface area. Molecules must move to the surface the molecule in the interior, if you want to have more surface area, if you want to increase the surface area, the molecules in the interior must move to the surface by breaking some of the attractions in the interior. So it has to break all the attractions in the interior, which requires energy and cause the surface tighten like an elastic film. So that's how the surface tension is. When the intermolecular forces increase, the surface tension also increases. Viscosity is the resistance to flow due to intermolecular forces. There are three factors affecting viscosity which are size and shape of molecules, intermolecular forces and temperature. Small and spherical molecules are easy to flow because they have weaker intermolecular forces because we know that big molecules have strong intermolecular forces so if the molecule is small it is easy to flow particles with higher temperature have lower viscosity vaporization and condensation process vaporization is a process in which a liquid is changed into a gas when the kinetic energy of liquid molecules increases, 
molecules will move faster so more molecules possess sufficient kinetic energy to overcome the intermolecular forces when it overcomes the intermolecular forces between the molecules molecules can escape from the surface as vapor molecules in condensation it's a process in which a gas is changed into a liquid when the vapor molecules are cool and lose kinetic energy so the molecules will become close together so molecules will move slower molecules do not have sufficient kinetic energy to remain as vapor molecules molecules come closer attract one another and return as liquid molecules factors affecting vaporization surface area when the surface area increase the vaporization rate also increase the number of molecules with high energy have chance to escape from the surface also increase when the temperature increase vaporization rate also increase means more molecules have higher kinetic energy so more molecules can escape from the surface finally strength of intermolecular forces when the strength of intermolecular forces decrease the vaporization rate increase vapor pressure is the pressure exerted by vapor in equilibrium with its liquid in a closed container means the molecules enter and leave the liquid at the same rate that's what it means by in equilibrium molecules enter and leave liquid at the same rate so some molecules become gas and some molecule becomes liquid and they are at the same rate so that is in equilibrium liquids with weak intermolecular forces are volatile and have high vapor pressures at room temperature while liquids with strong intermolecular forces are less volatile and have low vapor pressure at room temperature means the liquids with weak intermolecular forces is easily vaporized liquids with strong intermolecular forces is difficult to vaporize and this is the example for temperature and vapor pressure for water ethanol and diethyl ether so water vapor pressure is less than ethanol and less than diethyl ether at temperature of 20 degree means diethyl ether is the most volatile followed by ethanol followed by water so water is the least volatile because water has strong intermolecular forces compared to ethanol and diethyl ether factors affecting vapor pressure temperature and strength of intermolecular forces when the temperature increases molecules move faster so it's easy for the molecules to escape from vapor molecules means high vapor pressure and strength of intermolecular forces when the intermolecular forces are weak liquid molecules easy to escape to form vapor high vapor pressure boiling point boiling point of a liquid is the temperature at vapor pressure equal to external pressure so when the temperature of the liquid at vapor pressure is equal to external pressure that is boiling point example boiling point of water 100 degrees celsius at 760 torr 94 degrees celsius at 610 torr and 72 degrees celsius at 270 torr so these are the example of boiling point of water at different temperature at different pressure so boiling point is when the temperature when the vapor pressure is equal to external pressure
so that temperature is the boiling point. If the pressure is not mentioned when the boiling point is measured, we assume it as normal boiling point which is at one atmospheric pressure. So again, we look at vapor pressure and temperature on the x-axis, vapor pressure on the y-axis. So here, at 34.6 degrees Celsius, at 180 M, the temperature of diethyl ether, this is the boiling point of diethyl ether, 34.6, and boiling point of water, 100 at 180 M. And for mercury, 357 degrees Celsius at 180 M. So this point, the boiling point, is where the external pressure is equal to vapor pressure. That is the boiling point. Factors affecting boiling point. Atmospheric pressure and intermolecular forces. For atmospheric pressure, when the atmospheric pressure decreases, heat needed to make vapor pressure equals to atmospheric pressure also decreases thus the boiling point decreases when the intermolecular forces are strong more energy required to overcome the forces thus boiling point increases so these are the relationship between forces vapor pressure and boiling point so when it has weaker attractive force or weaker intermolecular force it has higher vapor pressure and lower boiling point liquid that have weaker attractive forces will have higher vapor pressure and lower boiling point 